Till now we have solved five different types of questions on Thevenin's theorem and now in this presentation we are going to solve our problem number six. Now moving on to the problem, we have a complex network N which is connected to the load resistance RL and the power dissipated through load resistance RL is equal to P watt and this scenario is shown here we have a complex network N connected to the load resistance RL and P is the power dissipated in watt and when two such identical complex networks are connected to the same load resistance the power dissipation will be and uh, this scenario is shown here we have the same complex network N taken two times and uh, we are connecting them with the load resistance RL like this and we are required to find out the power dissipation through the load resistance. There are four options given in the question and we need to find one correct option. I want you to pause this video and try to solve this question on your own. I hope you tried solving the question and now we will move on to the solution. And we will first analyze our case number one and then we will solve for case number two. In case one, we have a complex network which we are calling network N and this complex network is connected across the load resistance RL and we know we can replace the complex network by VTH connected in series with RTH like this. So this is our Thevenin's equivalent circuit for this particular network arrangement and this voltage source is representing VTH and this resistance is representing RTH and this resistor is our load resistor RL. So this is what we get as the simplification of case number one. Now I will assume the current to be I in this circuit and uh, we will have I equal to voltage VTH divided by RTH plus RL. And we know power is dissipated through RL which is equal to P. And P, it will be equal to square of current I, square of current I multiplied to the load resistance RL. And we have found I is equal to VTH over RTH plus RL. So power P, it will be equal to VTH over RTH plus RL whole square multiplied to RL. So in this way we are done with case number one. Now we will move on to our case number two. In case two we have the same complex network repeated two times in this manner and therefore we can replace the two networks by this particular arrangement VTH connected in series with RTH. So we will have something like this. This is VTH, this is VTH, this is RTH, this is RTH and this resistor is the load resistor. So in this way we have the simplified network for the case number two's network. Now there is one important point which you should understand. This particular network is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit for this particular arrangement. But here this network is not the Thevenin's equivalent circuit for this arrangement. Because in Thevenin's equivalent circuit we have VTH connected in series with RTH and then they are connected with load in this manner. But here the situation is not at all the same. So this is just the simplification for this network and we are taking the help of this particular analysis we have done in case number one. So what should be the next step? The next step is to find out the Thevenin's equivalent voltage and the Thevenin's equivalent resistance for this particular network. And once we have them, we can have the current and then we can find out the power dissipation. And uh, I will first find out RTH for this network. Now to avoid any confusion with this RTH, I will represent the Thevenin's resistance as RTH prime. And uh, now we will move on to the calculation of RTH prime. And for that we need to make two changes in our network. 
the change number one is open circuiting the load and we know the Thevenin's resistance is the resistance when looked into these two terminals. Now we will make our change number two in which we will turn off these two independent sources. They are voltage sources and therefore we will turn them off by replacing them with a short circuit. Now we are all set to calculate our Thevenin's resistance. You can see that RTH prime is equal to RTH in parallel with RTH. So we will have RTH prime equal to RTH in parallel with RTH. Or we can say that RTH prime is equal to RTH over 2. So we have calculated RTH prime, we have the Thevenin's resistance and now we will move on to the calculation of Thevenin's voltage which I am representing by VTH prime. And uh, for this we will have our network and in this network we will open circuit the load resistance and uh, we know the Thevenin's equivalent voltage is the open circuit voltage. And uh, for the calculation of VTH prime, we will first find out current in this circuit. And uh, when you apply KVL in this circuit, you will find the current is equal to zero because of VTH and VTH connected in this fashion. Now, when you apply KVL in this particular loop or in this particular loop, you will find VTH prime is equal to VTH. So we have the Thevenin's voltage as well and now we can have the Thevenin's equivalent circuit for our case number two. So let us have the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. In this we will have VTH prime connected in series with RTH prime and then they are connected with the load resistance and uh, we have the current in this circuit as I prime and uh, I prime we can see it is equal to VTH prime over RTH prime plus RL and uh, the power dissipated let's say is equal to P prime and uh, we want to calculate this power in this question we know this already and P prime it will be equal to current I prime squared multiplied to RL so P prime it is equal to V th prime over r th prime plus rl squared multiplied to rl vth prime is equal to vth r th prime is equal to r th over 2 so we have p prime equal to vth in place of vth prime we have vth in place of r th prime we will have r th over 2 then we have plus rl whole squared multiplied to rl when you simplify this, you will have P prime equal to twice of VTH over RTH plus twice of RL whole squared multiplied to RL. So in this way, we have obtained the power dissipation through the load resistor in case number two. Now your job is to compare this power with this power and try to find out which option is the correct option. This is your homework and uh, once you have your answer, post it in comment section. Now I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.